thinking about this for a while. Optimism is poorly defined by how full a glass of water is. I think a better definition of optimism, somebody goes to a grocery store, buys a big bag of celery, with the expectation they're going to finish it. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's ever finished celery. I don't know why they don't sell them one at a time, <laughs> like bananas, so you could just throw out less stuff. There should be a garbage can past the checkout at the grocery store with a little sign that says, did you buy celery? <laughs> You're gonna throw it out eventually. Why not save yourself some time? Because <laughs> here's the problem, nobody likes celery. It's terrible. It's one of the worst foods ever. But we all eat celery when we get that Dr. Oz watching friend come at you with the tip. <laughs> hey, you wanna lose a little weight? You wanna uh, drop a few pounds? Here's what you do. You go to the grocery store, get a big thing of celery, you cut her up, put it in a Tupperware in the fridge, and when you're feeling snacky, <laughs> instead of going for the junk food, what you do is you get some of that celery, because I don't know if you know this, celery's a magical food. It takes more calories to eat and digest than it actually has in it. You could starve to death if all you ate was celery. <laughs> and that's when part of your brain just shuts off. And you go, oh, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you do it, and the third period of the hockey game rolls around, and you're like, I can go with dumb knee. You wander into the kitchen, you open up the fridge, and you get that celery, and you're proud of yourself, and <laughs> that tastes exactly like dishwater if you filled it with string. <laughs> people defend celery. They're like, oh no, when I have people over a little shindig or a get together at my house, I put out the veggie platter or the crude de thé. <laughs> and by the way, if you say that on purpose, stop it. It's a veggie platter. You say crudite, it sounds French and delicious and gives people hope if they don't know what it is. <laughs> you want some crudite? Yeah! Where is it? Behind the crappy vegetables? Where is it at? <laughs> oh, it is the crappy vegetables. Yeah, no. Why didn't you say that before I came over? I would eat. <laughs> no, I put out the veggies. People just sit around in the kitchen or wherever it is, and they just nibble and they graze, and they just love it. And I'm like, that's because you put out dip. People don't like vegetables, they love dip. <laughs> they love dip more than they hate vegetables. <laughs> the vegetable is an excuse to just shovel it into their face. That's what we're all doing. You got faith in your vegetables? You put out your celery, don't put out any dip. You put out 10 pieces of celery, you'll get back 11. People hate it. <laughs> People hate it. Now, you wanna have the best party ever? Here's what you do. You go down to the dollar store, buy a bunch of those tiny little red shot glasses, just fill them up with dip. Don't buy any vegetables. <laughs> just put out this buffet of dip. And people come in and they'll be curious, what's going on over there? And you'd be like, that is my buffet of dip. And they'll be suspicious. Where are all the vegetables? <laughs> You're like, I am pointing out because nobody likes them. And they'll be really curious. Now they'll be like, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm like, I don't care. That's your dip. You take one, you can do what you want with it. You can stick your finger in it. You can lick it like a deer. You can shoot it like tequila. I don't even care. That's your dip. You can dip a chip. I have chips at my party. I'm not a monster. <laughs> you dip that chip. Um, 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 150 times. I don't even care. That's your dip. And every person that comes to that party will come to you at some point during the evening. Thank you. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this forever. And then you'd be like, we're having KFC skin for dessert. And I'm like, this is the best party ever. <laughs> Because we got to stop the celery. The celery's out of control. Our landfills are just filling up with celery that nobody wanted. And the worst part of the whole celery experience is when you got to throw it away. 
It's the worst. Because I know celery doesn't have a soul. I know that it's not a sentient being. But when you open up that, what I used to call the beer cooler, now it's a crisper. And in the history of naming things, really? You put a piece of concrete in a crisper, three minutes later, it's a marshmallow. It's the worst. <laughs> so you pull out that bag of celery and it's all wilty and bent over. <laughs> Green goo in the bottom of the bag and it's just judging you. <laughs> what happened to your plan? <laughs> You were gonna start on Monday. <laughs> that was eight weeks ago. <laughs> Thank you so much.